a beautiful good afternoon to you uh, coming live from uh, Panuka Farm and today we're coming live from uh, greenhouse number three where we have this uh, sweet pepper crop uh, we transplanted this around 10th July uh, 2020 so it's actually heading to about six months and um, it's actually good to see how it's come along uh, it's actually now a thicket you can actually see that it's hit the roof of the uh, net in the greenhouse uh, so almost about three meters in terms of height so by any standards we're actually very happy with the way it has actually turned out to be and uh, we still see uh, this continued greenness uh, with very minimal defects um, so generally we're extremely quite uh, elated about how this has turned out to be and um, this then shall be a very good benchmark for us in how you know we grow uh, sweet pepper uh, going forward so we've certainly taken note of uh, some of the lessons learned uh, in terms of pruning um, you know fruit balancing and all the other you know uh, critical you know aspects that are required to get a good uh, sweet pepper crop so let's dive in and just get into the thickets to just see what's uh, coming along. Uh, our team is just uh, doing some feather, you know, pruning, and that's uh, what you can actually see here. So we've got a, you know, some ladders that they use to climb uh, in the process of uh, uh, pruning. So here's some ready red fruits that uh, are scheduled for harvesting. Uh, sometime tomorrow so let's see if we can climb on top of this uh, ladder to just try and see how the greenhouse looks at the top so I'm climbing so that we get to the top and just see how this crop is looking here at the top and so that's down there And you see that even at the top, um, it continues to fruit. And uh, you can actually see that now it's at par with the support net here. So the guidance is that now, once it has reached this apex right here at the top, we will need to snip off uh the growing points at the top here uh so that it, it ceases to continue going beyond the net because we'll not be able to trellis it remember our trellising line is right here so we'll have to snip it off uh the growing point uh in line with uh this trellising wire otherwise it's been an excellent crop and uh you can actually see that uh, even the the greenery, you know, just continues to uh, look good. So let me just try and uh, pass the camera above the net so that we appreciate how it looks from uh, the apex. So there we go. So that's how this greenhouse is looking at the top there. I hope you can appreciate this near 360 degree view of this uh, greenhouse. Okay. So that's your crop. That's how this Duke variety has performed so far so let me just get down so that we continue the journey and just um, enjoy the crop together and uh, see you know other beautiful aspects of this uh, crop so now that I'm back down you can see we've kept it weed free and uh, we continue to trellis um doing fruit balancing uh very very critical 
but I think our team has now mastered the arts and um, you know it takes quite a lot of capacity building I think for us to pull this off and we're hoping this can be a very good benchmark uh, you know in our sweet pepper you know production as it were um, there's no reward in you producing a good crop once and then you fail to replicate you know these standards uh, along the way um the, the hallmark you know of uh, consistency is that you need to maintain not just the quality but of course even the quantity um and we we have a good pro i mean program uh we already have uh, you know younger crops that are you know going to take over from this crop once uh, uh with decommissioning this you know greenhouse but it still has quite a lot of life i think we still have another six months uh if not more uh to harvest from uh this uh greenhouse so that's your area of view again This is a full stretch. Now, even if I was to actually overstretch, you know, uh, I still don't match the height of this crop. It's really, really tall. So, like we indicated, you can actually see uh, in the next greenhouse, we have another beautiful crop that has already, you know, uh, emerged. You can't see properly because there's a net here. Uh, but so we ha already have a successor to this crop uh, in the next uh, greenhouse. Uh, we actually have two uh, greenhouses of, uh, you know, same age. So back to this one. So this is how beautiful it looks. And uh, you can actually see even at the top, we continue to have some very good uh, fruits, uh, which is good. Okay, folks, so I hope uh, this gives you a very good, you know, glimpse uh, on uh, this greenhouse and how it's performing so far. Uh, we have two greenhouses that are at this level of, uh, you know, performance. And then we have another batch. Remember, hot culture is all about, uh, you know, continuity. So we have to make sure that uh, we have the successes uh, coming up. So thank you so much for tagging along and if you've got any questions about this crop uh, feel free to um, reach out to us like we indicated this is just about six months uh, but you can actually see how beautiful it has turned out to be and um, the variety is uh, is duke uh, by stackers okay but the two new greenhouses that we've now put uh, we have a different uh, variety which is called red jet supplied to us by um, holland green tech zambia and bred by rags one so again we have to keep trying different you know varieties um, but so far i think all the varieties that we have on board are ticking and uh, so trying to just get the best of the different you know combination of varieties that uh, we have uh, around so have a lovely one um this is mr panuka quite hot here but lovely as usual so thank you so much bye bye